for us to serve others, to mature the saints, to provide relief, to cause manifestation of healing and deliverance, right? So the gifts we have been given were given to us for activation, for use, for use in the kingdom of God, for manifestation in our own lives. And so we need to exercise our gifts as well as we need to um, benefit from the gifts of others. So every woman here, you are gifted. And we want we want every woman to, to exercise the gift so that other women can um, benefit from the gift. So we focus on activating the gifts last week. Hallelujah. I pray that we walked out a week in our activated gift in a different self, in a different sense. We were encouraged not to neglect the gift. We were encouraged to stir the gift. And we were encouraged to fan into flames our gift. Hallelujah. And I want us to focus. Last week, we focused on the special, you know, special, those persons who are special, who are gifted, what they look like. Today, I want us to look at a baby, right? So a baby, I get to understand, has uh, about 300 bones, right? So a baby has 300 bones, but uh, an adult has 206 bones. And that is something to consider. A baby has 300 bones and an adult has 206 bones. Why is that? Why is that even necessary? We have come to pray. Why is that information even relevant to us right now? So we understand the, the, the amount of bones that the babies have. When we think about a baby, we're thinking about a fragile individual, a flexible individual, you know, an individual that will need assistance, an individual that cannot bear or, or, or operate with much burden placed upon them. That's a baby, right? And we were babes spiritually at some point when we just come in and maybe on this land, we might have some newborns in the kingdom, some babes as well. But the bones of adults get less, right? It's not that we will lose any bone. It's just that they, they get less because as we grow older, um, scientists believe that from about age three, two to three, the bones, the baby's bones begin to fuse together. They begin to come together. So the bones fuse together. And like in the head, we would have had like 14 bones. They fuse together. So we would understand that, especially in the skull, the bones were apart, you know, providing that flexibility so that the baby's head can squeeze and shift and the bones can shift to cause the baby to come through through in birth to the cervix right but after that the bones come together we normally talk about the mold we feel in the head because of the hole that is there so the bones are apart enough of that science lesson so bones come together they are fused together right and um in, in ephesians chapter so it makes us have less bones 204 because they fuse together and in Ephesians chapter 4 um, we see where the Lord um, refers uses signs as well and he uses the anatomy of the body to describe us he says that we are the body of Christ Christ is a head and we are the body the body is made up of other things including joints so this morning as we continue to stir our gifts as we continue to fan into flames our gift we can't move on without really recognizing that yes we have heard the word and some of us might be wondering you know what's going on with my gifting what is happening where are we at i want us to understand that the body see your body we all have that props this morning see your body as that significant thing that we're talking about your body we have joints all over all over and if our joints are not connected if they're pulled apart and not connected we understand that there are going to be challenges so our bodies are made up of joints just like the body of christ just like i see that question just like um just like here in this ministry we are all a joint every woman represented here is a joint and in every circle that we go in your church you are a joint in your family you are a joint at work you are a joint in jamaica or wherever in the world you're at if you're on one of the continents this morning you are a joint right and so that is amazing to know that we're gifted and we are a joint so it takes the gift a little further 
So I want you to listen keenly as we go into prayer this morning because sometimes we understand joints are always important. Joints provide motion. Joints cause action to take place, right? It may, they can bend, they can rotate. Yes, God made joints to, to be functional. But we cannot pass the place this morning and not understand that sometimes joints have issues. And that is why we come to pray this morning. When joints have issues, it's going to be difficult for them to supply. And the Bible says every joint must supply. So our giftings, we can narrow them down to a joint. Every joint must supply. Every woman this morning is expected to supply. But we have joint issues. And all maladies of issues will come. But the most popular of the issues will be pain. We must have heard about arthritis and rheumatoid and all kinds of stuff. The most um, prominent joint, joint challenge is um, pain. And this morning, I want us to zero in and place our prayer on that point as we are spiritually matured. There are so many of us who are gifted, but the maturity is long wait in the waiting because of the pains that we have suffered in our joint. Yes, joints get fractured. Joints slip out of socket from time to time. Joints wear out because of the work, the pressure that it undergoes and joints can run dry because the fluids in the joints, you know, can, can not be there any longer because of wear and tear and whatever it is, the cartilages and whatever that God would have placed in and in our own lives, God would have put people into position. He would have put things into place so that as a joint, my joint meeting up with your joint, I'm a joint working with you. I'm a joint on this prayer, pray in this prayer ministry, working with my other joints. Every woman, Sister Elaine, you are a joint. Sister Debbie, you are a joint. Sister Sharon, you are a joint. But especially because we are women, we know that we rub from time to time and we have friction. We have conflicts. We rub with our spouses. We rub with our children. And we have all kinds of maladies. And when I did some research, I found out that um, of all the joints, the shoulder, the shoulder joint is a very important joint. It is a burden bearing joint. The Bible tells us that, that God himself carried the weight of the world upon his shoulders. So we, uh, when we're carrying weight, we bear them upon our shoulder. If our bags are too heavy, we put them upon our shoulder. Our shoulder can carry weight. And I believe this morning that women are that joint, that shoulder. The woman carries a lot of burden. Women carries a lot of weight. We are the burden bearing joints of society and we come together. We, we operate in our giftings. Some of us are having difficulty manifesting in the giftings while some of us through the difficulties we, we manifest and we operate in our giftings, but it does not negate the fact that we are in pain, right? So we bear a lot of burden for a lot of reasons in society. We carry the weight of broken marriages. We carry the weight of broken relationships for those who have not been married. We carry, we carry, you carry, as women, we carry the weight of seeing the, the fathers of our children just move along nonchalantly. And we are left with the cares of this world. We are left with the children. You know, oftentimes when men leave, they just take up themselves and go. And we are left with the bills. We are left with the responsibilities. We are left with knowing how to provide care, how to provide food, how to send the, the children to school, how to do all manner of things we carry the broke the the, the 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 pain of broken relationships be it friendships being relationships at church whatever it is we carry the pain we also carry the pain for our very church ministries we carry the pain we carry the pain for our children especially when we stand by and watch them not, not making right choices so we carry pains for our friend we carry pains for what's going on at work we bear the burden and this morning, I know that there are women on this line who are functional, but functional in pain. And, it, and as a result of that, we're not producing as we ought to, because it doesn't matter how good you are. If you're pain, I had a, a, a shoulder injury some time ago. And I could hardly move my hand. I could hardly even wash under my arm. I had to get help. So when our shoulders are not functioning women, we struggle. But God is with us this morning. Because he, the healer, 
he the bomb in gilead is here to reach that pain for some of us our shoulder might have been our husbands so whilst we are that shoulder there are some of us whose shoulder whose strength whose help has been our husbands who might not be in place though they're in our lives still they're not functional and so that causes us a lot of pain some of us ladies we're online and we're we're christians we're manifesting in our gifts but our husbands have not yet answered the call to serve christ or some of them are serving christ but it looks like they're not and so we're going through all manner of pains this morning for some of us it could be that that, that our or from the pain that the shoulder could have been our siblings yes some of us rely on our sisters and our brothers to help us out to provide for us even for emotional support we we, we rely on our friends some of us it's a politicians you know that, that that may be our shoulder we rely on them to provide things to provide security to provide protection to provide even things back to school items and sometimes those joints are out of place they are shifted we rely on our leaders including our pastors and our ladies leaders and everybody we rely on our bosses we rely on the baby fathers but sometimes these joints don't supply and when they do not supply we are left in in a quandary but this morning in the name of jesus the lord wants us to wants a pain some of us we come on morning after morning we are gifted women but we are in pain and that's what we want to recognize this morning and if you are in pain in any way this morning if your joint pains go ahead type it in the chat you understand just just agree just give us a thumbs up let us know we know that god is speaking to us this morning so just go ahead and encourage somebody else because this morning god is centering on that pain women carry so much pain and we go about well dressed up in our makeup in our fancy attire but you know what happens when someone touches us not knowing that we are in pain then we scream out then we then we get boisterous then we shout then we quarrel then we cuss then we fight then we then we become all manner of things that does not look like the gift that we're manifesting but this morning we're bringing that pain we're bringing that joint that is out of socket yes whatever it is if it is your your husband that is a joint that is out of socket we're bringing it to god this morning if it is your job that is your joint that is out of socket this morning and it's causing that pain gifted women we are gonna rise up this morning in our gifts and we're going to god who is gonna push the joints hallelujah back into socket this morning oh my god he is the repairer of the breach he is the repairer of everything that is broken hallelujah